Hi everybody, Joe C. here, the Internet Piano Professor, and today we are going to discuss what makes Bach so great. Now, Bach was, in my opinion, in the opinion of many other musicians, most of whom were far greater than myself, which is just about any musician, let's face it, considered Bach to be the greatest musician that ever lived. Um, Mozart, when he discovered Bach's music quite by accident, he found it in a church loft, and a friend of his found him crawling around on the floor on his hands and knees with the music spread out all over the choir loft, and he was studying it, probably memorizing it all, and he said, finally, someone I could learn from. Years later, Beethoven used a pun. He said, not Bach, but ocean should be his name. Bach in German means brook, so that's the pun. Um, Brahms, years later, was a subscriber to the Bach editions, which were finally coming to light in, during his lifetime in the 19th century. And when Bach would get a new piece of music or a new book of Bach's music, he would put it up on his piano desk, knock all the other music down, and tell his friends that with Bach he could always learn something new. So he studied that before everything else. And this is going out, going on now for the last 300, 350 years. All of Western music owes a very profound debt to Bach, even people that don't know it. Um, for example, if you like the Beatles, the Beatles couldn't write most of the music they did if it weren't for Bach. He pretty much invented the language that is used to this day um, in most of Western music, classical and popular. Now, of course, that isn't 100% true, but it's true to a very large extent. And so if we really want to study music seriously in any capacity, we have to study Bach very seriously. Bach is the root of the tree. Everything else is branches and smaller branches and little twigs and leaves that come out of that tree that Bach is the root of. He was the first to use temper tuning and he was able to compose in all 12 keys and he was also be able, able to use a fully chromatic palette using all 12 notes, um, almost in an equal way. He did 12-tone writing 200 years before Schoenberg, and we'll probably get into that in later lessons. So, if you really want to get into the weeds on this, there's a link below to an overhead video which will be a detailed analysis of the first invention, which is in uh, C major, the first two-part invention of Bach. There's also links to the books. If uh, you need to get the book, if you really want to study this, you do need to get the books, and you can get them at a discounted price, and these are very good editions. They're the Palmer editions published by Alf Alfred, which I think are the best uh, and most scholarly editions of Bach's work. Okay, if you'd like to get more information, all my links are below. If you'd like to sign up for uh, live online lessons, there's links below for that. There's a link to my website. You can subscribe for videos on a regular basis. And um, if you like these videos, you can contribute any amount below to the further development and production of these videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.